Hello, my name is Shirley Gand and I'm a consultant with the Sims Independent team. Today we will be looking at using Sims as your medical centre. You might not realise that Sims includes a comprehensive area for recording medical information on students. Medical information is often held on paper or in Excel spreadsheets and access databases. If so, it might be hard to collate your data and it can take unnecessary work to find specific records. Let's take a look at how Sims could help. The medical area is found on the main student record in panel 7. And here you can find many fields to enter information into. Let's look at the dietary needs area. Gluten free in this case for Claire Abbott. If I click on the link here this will give me a report that will show that information including anybody else who has the same dietary need. Down here in medical practice we can open this and to have a look and find any information we require about the medical practice for this student, including email addresses and telephone numbers. In the second panel down, we have medical notes. I'm going to open this one here. This tells us that this student had a swollen and possibly fractured ankle. It also tells us, tells us that there is a photo attached and that they were sent to A&E. To view that photograph, we can click view, view here. And there we can see a photograph of the injured ankle. Medical conditions in this panel, let's open her asthma item here. There is a list of medical conditions to choose from, but that you need not be limited to that. Anybody who has access to change lookups can make additions to this area or indeed remove some if they are no longer useful to you. In Medical Events panel, we can record anything that has happened um, and if necessary, where there is a follow-up, we can set that in place too. So for example, if we have a tetanus immunisation and we need to repeat that on an annual basis, then we can set a follow-up as this one has, 3rd of May 2011 followed up by the 4th of May 2012. And there is an area that we're going to look at in a moment that will show you how you set those alerts up. Let's take a look. Under Focus, Alerts, Set Up Reminders. In here, we have choose this, uh, the top panel here, Medical e Events. Make sure it's active by putting a tick here. And this tells you how many days in advance you are going to be alerted to the date that you entered as the follow-up date. That alert will then appear on your home page. This is your home page and typically you would have My Reminders as one of your panels. The top option here was a medical event and if I click on here we can see that it was indeed a tetanus jab that needed to be repeated and we can see it's reminding us to organise that. The other item that would be useful on your home page is My Favourite Reports. There are many reports already available and you can build many others that would be useful to the nurse. Here we can have access to some that have been put into My Favourite Reports and they appear here and can be run from this home page. Clicking into the reporting area and going to Run Reports, I can open some student reports, search for the medical ones and here we have a number. Some of these will have been imported and you will definitely have on your system. Anything that says CES Reporting Services will be available to you. And I'm going to open this one now. It's a conditions and contact information report. We're looking specifically for those with asthma, although you don't need to. You could look for any particular other value in terms of uh, what condition you're looking for. But also you could look for everybody in a particular year group. And here we can see each of the children on the system with asthma as their illness and the other information, including the contact information for their parents. We have information here um, about medical notes, dated, so you can choose a date range to find your medical notes. You can also create reports showing photos. Let's have a look at this one here. This is a dietary list, and the final one I shall show you today. 
And here you can see the photograph of each of your students who have a dietary issue with the dietary need in place plus their tutor group and their name. And this is a very useful report to show to the kitchen if they need to know. And also people have chosen this kind of report to create badges for their students so that they can easily be identified as those students with a dietary need. I hope you found this useful. To see more Did You Know videos, please visit our website or YouTube channel. If you'd like to suggest a topic for a video, then please send your ideas to us via email or on Twitter. Thank you for watching.